Chase is right. Chase will always do it. Oh, inside cradle. Shoulders down. Inside cradle. No, 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 not like this. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Live. Let's talk about Thea Hill, y'all. Thea Hill or JC Jane. So, this match wasn't uh, announced earlier in the night. It was a match that got made, developed throughout the show. So, Thea Hill is still visibly upset with Andre Chase, still very disappointed in him throwing in the towel on her against Tiffany Strash. She still used it against her in a backstage segment where she said, you better not throw in the towel tonight on her. And then... Uh, Andre Chase didn't like the fact that Duke Hudson didn't have his back. <laughs> that was funny as well. So, J.C. Jane, the cunning J.C. Jane. The thing that you got to watch out in the Eddie J.C. Jane match, she's going to take advantage of the situation. She knew Thea Hale was into her head, and she used that against her in this match, right? So, let's go Let's let's go break it down. So, after the commercial break, Jane worked on Hale with a methodical offense. Hale rolled up Jane for a two-count. Jane came back with a shove in the back elbow. Uh, Jane got a two-count after a senton. Jane exposed part of the turnbuckle. And this will, this will come up later in the match. Hale hit Jane with a shoulder breaker. Hale rallied with uh, flying axe handles. And Hale hit Jane with a T-bone suplex and a Liger kick. Hale hit Jane with a springboard trust fall for a two-count. Then Jane gave uh, Hale a kick to the shin and a running knee. Hale ducked a discus lariat. Um... Jane got to the ropes and to break a Kamara like that. She was kind of visibly in pain. She was screaming a little bit after that. Jane hit Hale with a super kick and a spine buster for another near fall that I thought was going to put Hale out. But I, at this point in the match, I started thinking, okay, is, is, is Andre Chase going to throw this towel in it? Because we knew it was going to be something. So I wanted to see if that was going to come into play. Jane gave Hale some paintbrush, uh, paintbrush, uh, paintbrush boots. Chase put back the turnbuckle to protect Hale. Yep. Yep. Because JC Jane did try to use it for a move here uh, for Irish Rip to, into the uh, turnbuckle. Andre Chase, that will be his downfall, was trying to fix that turnbuckle, man. And Hale was like, what are you doing? And, you know, and, you know, yelling at Chase for getting involved in the match again. The distraction allowed Jane to actually roll up Hale for the victory. Oh, my God. Chase, you, bro. That was all she wrote for Thea Hill. She lost in almost five minutes to J.C. Jane. The character development on Thea Hill is amazing. By the way, this was actually a good match. Thea Hill's very short. J.C. Jane's very tall. But this match still worked out pretty well. This is actually a pretty good match. Like, they didn't get that much time for it. It reminded me of some of those level up matches that we always see. We had a match like that. I did my analysis on the uh, Fallon Henley uh, Izzy Day match. Izzy Day is pretty tall. Fallon Henley a little bit on the shorter side, and it still looked like a pretty good match. So that was the thing that we noticed there. But uh, we're going to talk a little bit more in the next video about this whole situation with Thea Hill. But great win for J.C. Jane. Got back in the win column. And I would like, it feels like the spotlight got off of J.C. JC Jane for a while. J.C. Jane is so good for the baby faces, man. I want to see them put the spotlight back on her, get her the title at some point. She should be the next heel champion on the on the roster. She should be the next one to get the the, the, the title if there's somebody that's going to get the title. And I keep saying this: put her and Core J together in a faction. I just I I, I did. Y'all need to watch my uh, Dana Brooke video because I talked about for about a good three or four minutes about how we need factions. And I didn't realize how deep NXT's female roster is. There's a lot of girls starting to get a, a, a really lost in this roster. And a lot of it's got to do with the fact that too many of them are involved in singles action. We don't have a real tag team division yet. We had some tag teams developing, but we just we don't have enough. We need some factions and we need some more tag teams. Because we need to start splitting people up so that the singles competitive division looks a little bit a little bit more better. And I think that that'll help girls out like JC Jane. Thea Hale, well, Thea Hale didn't really need the help because she just had two title matches, but these girls need to really spread out a little bit more. You know what I mean? But good way for her. We're going to go over Thea Hale in the next video. Let me know what y'all think about J.C. Jane. And let me know what y'all think about Thea, uh, Thea Hale in the next video. But go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. After news to like. Let's talk about Thea Hale.